Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm really excited because I'm going to be starting a channel for my hamster that I'm soon to be getting. And this channel is going to be all about anything hamsters and even cats because I do have two cats as well. So yeah, I hope to have a really super fun hamster slash cat animal related channel here. So if you want to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe down below for a new video every Wednesday. So today I just wanted to sit down and kind of start my channel with the announcement that I am getting a hamster. And I have been waiting to get this hamster for so, so long. So here's a little backstory. So I've always wanted a hamster for like years on end. And like I always asked my parents and eventually I just kind of like gave up. Because I was like, well, I mean, I already have two cats, so it's fine. But then last year for Christmas, my parents gave me and my sister, they said like, you can get a hamster each of us and um they gave us critter trails and i am so incredibly grateful that they let us get k hamsters at all but I, I critter trails if you know anything about hamsters you should you know that critter trails are like the worst thing you can buy for your hamster like they're really bad they're just not good and i feel horrible saying this so i ended up talking to my parents and they ended up saying that we could do something a little bit bigger a little bit better for the hamster so we ended up deciding that we wanted to get at some point a 40 gallon aquarium but they are so expensive when they're not on sale they're like 83 dollars which i mean compared to other hamster cages is not that bad but like compared to when they're on sale for the dollar gallon sale they're only 40 dollars so we figured we'd wait until the sale and until the sale we would be using bin cages so in this video i'm also going to talk about making a bin cage how to make a bin cage and kind of taking you through the process of creating your own bin cage for your hamster so we purchased 105 quart bins so it's around 600 inches of floor space and the minimum for a hamster is 450 so it's really really good and i'm so 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 excited excited that we are able to offer our hamsters a big amount of space for them to run around in and my next video will be a vlog of me getting a hamster so if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can see that as soon as it comes out so since after christmas we always go to puerto rico to see our family there we figured why would we get a hamster right before we go to puerto rico so we figured we'd get one after we got back from puerto rico but then we needed to clean up a little bit our rooms were a mess the playroom our like bonus room was a mess so we finally kind of like cleaned those out and then Corona struck. And since everything was someone starting with Corona, we were like, well, is it safe to like go to the store and get a hamster? Like that's going to be a long process. We're going to be like, things were just so uncertain back then. And now that things are opening back up just a little bit, we are able to go and get a hamster. So we finished cleaning everything out completely. And if you want to check out my lifestyle channel, it will be linked below. And in that video, I showed my closet clean out and I kind of made space for all of the supplies you need for a hamster. And I have cleared a space over here for my hamster's cage because I don't have like a low dresser I can put it on so it's gonna be on the floor until I get a low dresser so yeah I'm so excited to be getting a hamster soon I have done so so much research about hamsters and I want to get a dwarf hamster I know that Syrians are recommended for beginners and everything but I've always wanted a winter white since I was like 10. So I'm thinking either a Campbell's Dwarf, a Winter White, or a Roborowski. And probably I won't go with the Roborowski just because I know how skittish they can be. And yeah, my goal is either to get a Winter White or a Campbell's Dwarf. So hopefully that is what we can find at the pet store. Hopefully we can find one of those. But I am not a fan of the way that pet stores treat their animals at all. I do not support the way they treat them. And I do not support the cages they sell and things like that. And I really don't support rodent mills. If you don't know anything about pet stores, you know that they get most of their small animals from rodent mills, which is a really unethical way to breed and raise and sell hamsters. And it doesn't really care for the well-being of the hamsters. And I don't support that. However, there are no adoptions for hamsters in my area right now. There are no shelters where they have small animals. So it's really our only option. So we are just going to have to go with getting a hamster from the pet store. But um, I know that buying a hamster is still supporting the store, but hopefully we can help a hamster that may have spent more on its life on a mesh wheel getting bumble foot. Maybe we can give them a nice home. So yeah, definitely subscribe to see that journey and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more hamster videos and comment down below if you have a hamster and if so, what are their names? Because I need some name ideas. I am so excited and so grateful to be able to be getting a hamster. I cannot, cannot wait. So today is currently Friday and our bins just arrived from in the mail. We ordered them from Walmart. We got four bins because who doesn't need a storage bin? We need, we need storage. So we got bins, we have mesh and zip ties, and then we also ordered all of the supplies from Petco, PetSmart, and Amazon. So yeah, I'm so, so excited. And let's go make a bin cage. We just drilled some holes.
tie. Going to cut each zip tie. And finally, yay, okay, I'll just cut these little strands off. Okay, so this is what the bin cage ended up looking like. My sister's is over there too, but so we ended up drilling a whole, kind of drilling holes and then using a screw to go through the um, window mesh stuff and then <laughs> put zip ties through it. So this is what it looks like. We're thinking that because this is so sharp, like you can honestly like stab yourself with it. It really hurts. But so we're thinking we're gonna get some pretty kind of colored duct tape and put this around the edges to make it look a little bit cleaner and less frayy over here because I think it'll just keep fraying. But for now, it's really, really good. I'm really happy with it, um, and I'm so excited to hopefully get a hamster tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna disinfect it with water and vinegar mixture, so I'll see you guys then. My shower is on, and I look really rough right now, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see it part two, definitely subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday, and my next video will be a vlog of me getting the hamster, so if you wanna see the new hamster and the cage setup, definitely subscribe, and yeah, I'm so excited. We hope to get the hamsters tomorrow. I cannot wait, but don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and comment down below any video ideas and any things you would like to see from me and my hamster, and don't forget to turn notifications on, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.